What up? How's it going? You're probably wondering why I got Natalie Portman in the tutu behind me. Because I'm about to watch Black Swan. Shout out to the Patreon. This is a Patreon request. I don't know much about this. All I know is it won awards. That's what that's about all I know about it. Like I I don't have a clue about this. Um this is one of those films that did really good with the, like with the awards and stuff, but I never heard nobody really talk about it. So I'm actually interested in seeing this one. Let's go ahead and get this started. How the hell? Has that been on her head this entire time? <laughs> like that's how quick that went. Up. What's that? What? There. Nothing. That's one of her, the dancers, like her competition or something. That's such a beautiful dancer. Yeah, so is my grandmother. Oh, so Louis? Mila Kunis? <laughs> I fucking miss my stop. I used to, I don't know why I learned this, but I heard about like, like they would do a whole bunch of stuff to like condition the, the shoes. Like, did I learn it on like Sesame Street or something? Like, where would I have learned it? The white swan leaps off a cliff, killing herself. And in death, finds freedom. Damn. A new production needs a new swan queen. A fresh face to present to the world. Which of you can embody both swans? All the soloists I tapped go to your scheduled rehearsals this afternoon. And the girls I didn't tap meet me in the principal studio at five. Oh, shit. He an asshole for that. He know how choosing works. <laughs> Had she danced uh, before this? If I was only guessing the white swan, it should be yours. Attack it! Come on! Should I go again? No, thanks, and I've seen enough. The fuck? Ew, that sucks. Ew, that sucks. She gotta work on that all day of day. Everything will be better in the morning. It always is. Honestly, I don't care about your technique. You should know that by now. Yeah, but yesterday. No. Anyway, I've already chosen Veronica. So, you're not gonna try and change my mind? When I look at you, all I see is the white swan. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yes, you're beautiful. The fact that she was just about to leave. Fragile. She wouldn't have. Ideal that's character. not the black swan. I think I do have feelings. I was ah. just about to commend him on not being a fucking scumbag. You bit me? I was literally about to commend him. Like, damn, I thought he was about to be a fucking scumbag. And now he's a fucking scumbag. Congratulations. But if he decided to choose her now. <laughs> this, that's gonna seem like some sick joke. Why would you say that? Hmm? Your idea of some sick joke? Yeah, see? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck you. Man, go on, you little big headed bitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have said that. He liked that. He a freak. That's all I say to me. I didn't even know I like that type of pain. Oh shit, that shit leaking. The real work will be your metamorphosis into her evil twin. And I know I saw a flash of her yesterday. Imprecise, but F 
effortless. She's not faking it. A deeply appreciated presence on our stage. You all know who I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, Beth McIntyre. Taking the role of our new swan queen, the exquisite Nina Sayers. <laughs> okay, she is going to keep going. All right. <gasps> hmm. Yes, our new swan queen. Here, hold this. Yeah, sure. Oh, you must be so excited. Why should you get back? No, 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 come on, stay. Keep me company. What? What'd you do to get this role? He always said you were such a frigid little girl. What did you do to make him change his mind? <laughs> Fucking little whore! Oh, what's going on here? I have something for you. It's a token of my appreciation. Mm -hmm. right. You make the most of it, Nina. She's talking about the 38. <laughs> I got a little homework assignment for you. Go home and touch yourself. Live a little. Completely inappropriate, but somehow I understand why he's saying that. He needs that black swan to come out of her. You've been scratching yourself again. No, I have. Mom. Don't go on this disgusting habit. Watch, I knew it. Ow. Oh, shit. Yo, her mom crazy as shit. <laughs> but I didn't think she was going to get into it like that. I knew she was going to lay there. But that'd have been crazy if her mom would have caught her. That would have been crazy. That that was the weirdest thing this entire movie. All the scratches, everything. That wasn't as weird as her mom being right there. Damn. Her dancing is done. That was me seducing you when it needs to be the other way around. Please. He's a prick. He's brilliant. Sure. But it's not like he's all warm and fuzzy. Wait, you don't know it. Someone's hot for teacher. Now she doing it to herself, like. Lily told me that she saw you crying. That you were very upset and uh, that I should take it easy on you. I didn't tell her that. You could be brilliant, but you're a coward. Sorry. Now stop saying that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I just told you you were working your ass off and that I think you'll be great. Well, you shouldn't have. Like, I just, I feel really shitty about what I did, and I just really want to make it up to you, so how about I take you out to dinner? I don't think... Okay, that's fine. What about, um, drinks? One for you, and one for me. It's okay. Okay. So I wasn't tripping when she was in that bathroom pulled them panties off before. You need to sleep this off. There were two. There was Tom, there was Jerry. Be quiet, Nina. And uh, I fucked them both. Shut your mouth! She about to put that thing on the door? This movie is interesting. She giving her the underhooks. Get them underhooks. It's a different game. <laughs> Shit crazy, yo. I was wondering what them tattoos are gonna have to do with something. Hold on, let me think. Wait, or is she the black swan? Sweet girl. Somehow this is gonna work out for her career, I'm assuming, right? She gonna have a little bit of edge. 
Who is it? Black Swan. Confirm. She's the black damn swan. Um, no. Unless your name is Tom and you got a dick. <laughs> we... What we want, Nina? Oh my God. Oh my God, you did. You fantasized about me. Shut up. <gasps> Was I good? What the fuck? It's getting weirder and weirder. Jump to be fun, jump! What's she doing here? He made me your alternate. <laughs> Every dancer in the world wants your role. No, this is different. She's after me. Tomorrow's yours. Just give a great performance and you won't have to worry about Lily or anybody else. What happened? I've got a lie. Don't work too hard. It's your big day tomorrow. No, seriously. Don't work overwork yourself the day before. Come on, huh? Could you please turn the lights back on? Is just like the the play where she's going to play both. Is she also in her actual life, the black swad and the white swad? You gonna leave the lipstick too? You stole my things. I was just trying to be perfect like you. I'm not perfect. I'm nothing. Nothing! 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 <laughs> what the fuck? That can't be what I think it is. It is what I think it is. Cause her skin looks like chicken skin. Oh my God. You're not well, let go of me. You can't handle this. I can't. I'm the swan queen. You're the one who never left the call. I've already asked Lily. Have you announced it? Debrat, do you really need another controversy? I'm here tomorrow. I'm doing it. He actually liked that. He like, hmm. Oh, she about to get webbed feet. Oh, that motherfucker just all together. Swan. feeling up to it stop yeah. please stop how about i dance the black swan for you leave me alone <laughs> it's my turn did this really happen or it's a hallucination black swan places in five Oh shit. Like, did she really kill her or not? <laughs> I 
Yeah, she did really kill her. You were amazing. Seriously, I know that. Did she kill her mother? Messed up between us, but I mean, holy shit, you completely blew me away. Watch it be no blood when she moved that towel. Yo, in the review, I got something to say. Holy shit. Jump. I always knew you had it in you. Let's go get some help. I felt it. What? Perfect. First, let me start by saying don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are subscribed, make sure to hit the notification bell. Shout out to all the new viewers, shout out to all the subscribers. And I started a Patreon with full length early reactions to things like this. If you like, check it out. First off, that was a hell of a performance by Natalie Portman. When I say you felt all her anguish, her strive for perfection and the way she played the character. She didn't come off goofy. She really did just come off like innocent, just a sheep in a land of wolves. Like many actors would have played it as if they were goofy, right? I didn't get that from her. I just got that. She just really wanted something but didn't understand what it took. And whether that meant being molested by that guy, leading to a sexual relationship with him, him fondling her, or just the darkness she would have to go to to reach her heights, she did not see that. So it was this naivete that was like, that came out on the screen that, but it wasn't like, this night, like where she was so naive, you were just angry. Like, how the fuck don't she know? No, she, we can understand how she doesn't understand that world or she doesn't fully get it because we don't understand it. But even in seeing it, I still was like, damn. And the reason why is this whole movie was like a study on the depths and the darkness that an artist oftentimes has to reach and what they have to go through. And we don't know about that. Most of us don't. Let's say most of us. You'll hear about the, the, the actor who goes so deep in. Like he has to play a character who's addicted to drugs. And what does he do? He gets addicted to drugs himself. Or he, he's playing somebody who's hyper violent and he makes a mistake and brings that home or something like that. Or uh, you'll see all these artists who you're like, damn, what, what is it about artists where they just... They, they, they sometimes end up strung out or they end up in these self-destructive modes. And truthfully, it's because in order to express the full array of the human experience, you have to go into those dark spaces. See, it's OK when I'm shining light on the good, the happiness, the joy, um, you know, the 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 sunshine of it all. But when it's time to talk about where things can go you got to surround yourself with that and be a part of it and get into it it gets real destructive and for some people they never come out of that so when we get to the end where she says she uh she felt it and she's like he's like what felt what he's, she, she, she felt perfection she thought that perfection was being technically good and the thing about this guy that I had the issue with is he would be saying some, and this is some real scumbag shit, but you wrap truths up with your scumbaggery. So when he's telling her like, yo, yeah, the technique and all that, but it's like, it's real rigid and you're frigid and you're, you're, you're like very nice and all this. But when it's time to just let it flow and let your humanity shine through, that doesn't come through. And that's, 
So what she thought was perfection was the technique. And he's like, no, no, no. Allowing your, your full humanity to shine through <laughs> along with the technique. That's another thing. She couldn't figure that out. And I don't like for me, somebody who's not into the, who wasn't into the arts. I could never imagine that. Right. Uh, like, just think of all of the examples. Like, for instance, you'll see just a musician, period, right? They come in, their music is making all these people dance. Meanwhile, when you listen to the lyrics, the lyrics be some of the most tragic, destructive, you know what I mean? But we like it. It's like, because it's expressing life and humanity, but it's like, that wears on them. That all came through in this film for me. And from the moment, he has her in that room and I'm like, okay, is he, he not going to be a scumbag. I said that. And then he immediately kisses her and she bites him. She ends up getting the role. She ends up getting the spot. Okay. So I'm like, he saw that she can have that in her, that sort of fight, that response. Right. Uh, like the, the thing that she was missing was like, how would you respond in that situation? And he kept putting her in situations where she would have to, you know, he would force himself on her and all that. Like, I'm not condoning none of that shit. That's what I'm saying about him being a scumbag. But while he's trying to get a, what he wanted to get across makes sense. But he's still on some scumbag shit. Then we get into the whole uh, it mirroring the actual Black Swan story. So he has her playing the white and the Black Swan. But in her life, it seems as if she was both also. Because you had Beth who Nina didn't do anything to, right? But her spot, her having the spot causes something that practically is the death of Beth. She can no longer, she's not going to dance ever again, okay? And him calling her his princess after having called Beth that is like, yeah, that that's clear. Then on the other hand, she's the white swan who had all this other stuff around her. That guy, Tomal, I think his name was, uh, Lily, I believe Mila Kunis played, who also did a hell of a job. She had created something in her through her paranoia. Her paranoia had created this, this full thing that was going to cause her to have a metamorphosis. And there were points where I'm like, okay, well, her and Mila smash. Okay, they didn't. What's going on here? She created that. Then the thing where she had stabbed her. Now, the whole time I kept forgetting. When she would see Mila, her face would end up on it. But at that moment where she stabs her with the mirror, all of a sudden it, the face isn't there. I feel like this, I think it was just trying to tell us a dope story. But in the end, it's like, yo, she, she killed herself by becoming the black swan. You know what I mean? Like she killed the white swan herself by becoming that black swan and the points where you know you kept seeing that the scratches on her and i'm like okay and then, but by the end i'm like oh that looks like chicken skin like i'm like i hope those aren't what i think they are they look like the little feathers that come out when you gotta so when she's her feet get webbed and i'm like oh yeah these are hallucinations but this is signaling this is her becoming what she needed to become to really show off on that part the fact that by the end, she's like, wait, she, she thought she had killed Lily, dragged her into the room. She comes back. Here's where I was like, yo, I got to say this in a review. In order to seek perfection. She was willing to take that life and she was fine with it. <laughs> Think about that shit. She put her in there. She saw the blood. She was like, oh, shit, let me cover this blood. I'm about to go back out. And then she realizes, oh, shit, it's. It's not, oh, it was me. It was me. I, I, I killed myself. 
And the fact that she would have been just perfectly fine having killed the old girl in order to get what she needed done is the same as her being willing to sacrifice her, her just herself. She was willing to do whatever to get that. Now, the thing with her mom, that, that played into the, how we looked at her, how we viewed her, right? Because she doesn't have to play goofy and all that. We'll see her as innocent and stuff if what's around her sort of uh, plays on that. So the way her mom was, we're like, oh, okay. Yeah, her mom is overbearing. And the fact that she's that age and her mom is still on doing that, we know what's up with that, okay? The way they utilize sex in this film, like I said, he was on some scumbag shit. So he said, yo, go touch yourself. And when she does, it really opened her up. Like, you know what I mean? And even when she thought she had done what she did with uh, old girl Lily, you know what I mean? Like it had opened her up and you saw the wings sort of spread signifying, yeah, that's that, that's that swan age coming up. And it seems as if she had been closed off the everything else in life, sex, uh, friends, fun and all that shit. And she got a little bit of it, but the purpose of it wasn't for joy of any kind. The purpose of it was to get her to a dark space. Right. And that's kind of fucked up. Hey, this was good. Uh, what's her name? Winona Ryder. She killed it. She killed it in this because in here they made her look so worn out and stressed out. And you could tell that that's all she had. And that he, the guy, Tomal, whatever, he had done that same thing with her where he sort of broke her. He found her and shaped her into what she did. And that's on some pimp shit because she was like, dog, if I can't be with you into the street, I go like he couldn't even find a place for her within the program. Right. Like, nah, he just to the streets you go. And that was. So you saw how she ended up, man. Hey, this was good. This is good. I didn't know what to expect, but I, I liked it. And like I said, Natalie Portman, she fucking killed it. Her facial expressions. And then when we get to the, um, the actual turning into the swan, that was crazy. Oh, how can I forget this? The dancing on this was dope. I never really paid that much attention to ballet. Um, I list, I've listened to way more opera than I've watched ballet. and. To see the dances where they were like up close, the men and women, where it was like, yo, they really, it really seemed as if they were doing motions just in real life. That's how smooth it was. I was like, yo, that's, that's dope. You know what I mean? But it was all within the dance. I, I liked it. I liked it. And uh, the fact, I, I, like I asked, did Natalie Portman dance before this? I know she trained her ass off of this. I know Mila Kunis trained her ass off of this, but... I, I wonder if they danced before this because they were killing it in this, man. Um, Yeah, this is a good one. Next movie.